cams. First on, we've got uh, we've got Luke on. Uh, nice to have you back on, Luke. Seems ages, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm uh, glad football's back. I could be fucking ass with international football. Football. Uh, it's crap that. Uh, but shit. but I mean, normally international break can have an effect. But what are three points that was to say towards yeah. end? It looked like it were going to be nil nil. Yeah, we picked up where we left off against Derby, didn't we? Um, I felt first half they slightly edged it. If I'm being honest, I think we started pretty well and. We hit bar twice in the space of five, ten minutes. I think, oh, you know, we're, we're going to rule them misses, even though, you know, they were great, great efforts by uh, Chaplin and Woodrow. Mm. You know, and then they came into the game. Um, Walter made some good saves. I think they should have scored at least one, that one on one at first half. Um, yeah. That Guerrero had a right chance. He should have buried that, if I'm being honest. Mm. Um, I think he had two, didn't he? Two one on ones that he could have scored. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they had good chances. I mean, both sides did. And I, and I said it live stream. I said, this is the type of game, the way we're playing, where if we'd have lost this game, I, I still don't think we'd, we could have been too disappointed. No, definitely Because not. both sides, that's how football should be played, mate. That's a perfect good example game. today. Really good game. Really yeah. enjoyable game of football. Um, I never expected Forrest to be the same Forrest that we played earlier in the season under Lenoche. No. You know, Hewton's a good manager, you know, he's um, done really well at Championship and also at Premier League. He's a really experienced manager. He knows how to set teams up and they've got, you know, I know they're obviously bottom half you know, like 20th in table or something like that. But they've got some really good players in the team. And yeah. I knew it was going to be hard today. And I knew that we'd have to be, you know, firing to, to get a result. And I think second half, again, they were still dangerous on counter-attack. Um, but we defended pretty pretty well. I think there were a couple of moments where we did fall asleep and we were giving them opportunities and losing ball in midfield and being a little bit sloppy. But, you know, them changes seemed to make us better. You know, mm. well played to... Uh, to Ishmael for that because Thomas came on and he had an effect. Um, I think Kane, com he had more composure in midfield when he came on. Um, and Bayajo as well, mate. I thought he yeah, had a big yeah, effect for his centre back, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Another good, good, another good um, co um, cameo by Victor. Um, and what a, what a goal by Styles. And I think, I think, like you were saying, as soon as that first goal went in, I think, you know, I think Forrest, is, Forrest had just gone then after the first goal. I think that took wind out of the sails a little bit. Yeah. And uh, Woodrow deserved that second goal because I felt he had a really good game today. Mm. Uh, he deserved the goal. I know he should have scored maybe five minutes before and I thought, oh, you know, was that a, was that a chance to get some But he deserved that. And I think he looks a totally different player now. Um, he's playing up top rather than in defensive midfield like he were under Voldemort. Um, I was going to say, I was going to say, under uh, it's so much better now, isn't it? Under under this uh, this new manager, he seems to have got it got it right. There's a bit, there's a good good balance between all yeah, the team yeah. rather than just defensively all the time. I think if that had been Struba, we say nil nil there. Yeah, or possibly one nil because I think when you sit back like we did with Struba, sometimes we played really deep at times. I think that invites another team to have permission yeah. to come and attack you. And um, we, we kept going for it. And I'm surprised that Uton only made one. I think he made only one or two changes during the game. Yeah, which he surprised did. Me. Mm. Um, he bought Freeman on, who was another good player. But I just, I think Ishmael thought legs on pitch, just keep playing the same way. Mm. And um, it had its good effects. I think uh, energy boost that lads that came on fresh legs seemed to suit us, especially because it was such an high tempo game. Mm. But great result. I know Forrest are obviously 20th in the league, but they're a good team on paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think they'll be there at the end of the season, mate. No, no, definitely not, mate. Definitely not. He just needs a few months. So if I were a Forest fan, obviously, if you're disappointed, you know, I, I wouldn't be worried at the end of the season. I think you'll be in top half easy because you've got, you know, they, they've got some good players. But for us, an, another great result, you know, win your own games. Another clean sheet. I felt Walton deserved a clean sheet. Fan, you know, a really good game. He had to make some good interventions when he had to. Yeah. I felt Stolbauer was solid. I felt Ellick played play pretty well. And, you know, Lyle Taylor's a good striker at this level and we kept him pretty quiet. They're only that header that Walton had to save that he really mm. did, you know, that scared us. But really good game. And lads that came on, like I said, I, you know, taking Mowat off were a big call with 10 minutes left in it. Um, you know, putting Styles there at midfield, you know, it probably wouldn't have scored that because his positioning, he were in the middle of the park when Victor, you know, Woodrow put it back for Styles. And that was due to, you know, the way that they changed it and that was due to change that Ishmael made. So, fantastic win. I was thinking at nil nil, I'd have still taken a point. I know people are going to get on at me, but that was one of those games that you sometimes have to settle for a point. Yeah, but yeah. The way, know, yeah. Finished, the way that we finished, we finished really strong. And we could have, you know, we could have got, you know, obviously we've hit crossbar three times today. So, you know, we deserve probably more than two goals, but clean sheet, 
especially with the chances that Forrest had and we dealt with them pretty well and you know we got away with it I think just it just were our day today no mm. we, you know no um, we, we, we grafted hard a really good hard, hard you know hard working performance we kept you know we kept getting stuck in I think that game suited us a lot more when it were more physical I think when it were when there were more space it suited Forrest better and their players could get into a game like Lolly is a good player at this level in on left hand side yeah um, you know, mentions back to Callum Britton, set up second goal. I felt another really good game today. Oh, he's not he's not put in he's he's been brilliant, hasn't he? Yeah, him and yeah, style yeah. him and styles, mate. They... Yeah. And now we've got Williams back, it's good competition for places. Um we didn't need Balotelli after all, did we? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd take him um, but... <laughs> but look, I've you know, there's there seems to be a really good atmosphere at changing room. Mm. And um, lads clearly respect the coach and they just needed a bit of confidence, I think. They just needed a bit of a boost. And, you know, we're 13th in the league. I can't believe that we're not looking over a shoulder. Normally, I keep looking at over results and thinking, fucking hell, we're, you know, we're still at bottom four. But it's nice yeah. to be thinking, you know, let's have a, let's have a tilt into the top 10 this season. Um, well, well, I mean, where we've been playing. You know, if we keep, you know, let's take a game at a time and let's see where we are at Christmas because there's a lot of points to be played for and there's a lot of games to be won. And, you know, Brentford, another tough game on Tuesday. They're a good team. We know what Brentford can do. They're a good footballing team. And, you know, yeah. but I, we can go into that game with plenty of confidence. You know, it's, you know, you've got your three points on the Saturday, you know, Tuesday, you can go into that game, freshen things up a little bit. But also we've got the with the luxury of having the five subs. So if we do need to change things around, we, we can you know we can use them subs to his full advantage like he has done today. Mm. So great result. I can't I can't fault it really. They were like a, if I were only be pernickety, if that's even a word, just um, just maybe a bit more clinical around edge edge at box because I felt at times we had lots at ball and just then that final pass just seemed to lack it. But it all came together in the yeah. End. I think that's only complaint in it, Luke. That maybe oh, the finishing to the finishing as well because there were chances we should have finished. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. Even before we yeah. scored, Woodrow definitely should have scored that yeah. that first yeah. goal, that yeah. first chance, uh, that freezer one as well. I mean, I take yeah. away I take away the first half ones where we hit cross back because they're not real. They're half chances, aren't they? That. They're not clear cut, though. You know, we missed a really good clear cut chances, but then Nottingham Forest did as well. So, yeah, yeah. Um, like you said, it was a good game. I really enjoyed it. Really good, really good performance. And, you know, let's make up well the fortress this season. Let's make it a place that teams come to fear to play. I think yeah. there were too much of a, a mindset a few years ago, and well, even recent times in Championship that teams don't come. Don't come to Oakwell and fear it like they used to. And I want to get it like that again, that you know you're going to be in for a tough 90 minutes and we're going to run his ass off. Mm. And regardless of the result, as long as they're for 100%, and as you know, Luke, all, all fans will be happy with it. Oh, yeah. You know, regardless yeah. of the well, result. So like and I think I... that's changed. Every lad every lad on that pitch is put 100% in every week and you can't fault him for it. No. And, um, you know, I'm, 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 it's great to see. And, you know, no complaints at all. I, I felt would that break, you know, galvanises, but we've clearly been working on things. We look a lot more defensively set up from set pieces, which is a big big plus for me because we look in, in past we've looked so nervous at times from set pieces, we look a lot more structured, a lot more stronger. Yeah. We seem to be attacking ball better and defensively. And um, you know, going into January, you know, I still think, you know, we need need possibly you know, I just think maybe another left back or not not you know, we don't need to make that many changes, possibly another left back. Yeah. And um get Styles playing in midfield a little bit more if James goes back to Leicester and don't come back. And possibly a striker, but you know that's a long way away. But you know, just little tweaks, Luke. And if we if we keep taking it a game at a time, you know, just keep just keep building, just keep building, and well, you know, that's let's it, see that's where it, it. Takes us. see where it takes us. Keep it going. I mean, under there we look a very half decent side now. It's nice we to do, see yeah. just just both, a few yeah. a few additions, like we said, and look what happens. You know what I mean? How long so. we said? How long we said this for? And you know, going to going to um, going to Mafia upstairs. Um, even though they didn't get Mario, the fact that they've got that they've actually gone to speak to him, even though I, I never think I never thought it'd happen, because I think that were a PR thing to try and get him a move to a bigger club. That yeah. is my opinion um, from the agent side of things. The fact that they've actually asked him and said, yeah. "Well, do you want to come?" Yeah. It shows a good intent for January. Of course it um, does. We'll be, after, we'll, be after, we'll be looking at like Sir, uh, you know, <laughs> messes out of contract end of season, so. Ah, uh, be... see if we can get some uh, Conway dollars from Casino <laughs> over to <laughs> over to Messi. But 
you know, jokes aside, really happy with performance, and uh, it's it's nice to go into week. You know, nice to go into Tuesday. You know, obviously Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. It, it, you know, there's a lot of game space. You know, in a short space of time. But when you're winning, you you don't get tired. You oh know, no, that's it. That's looking it. Looking forward to playing. You're looking forward to getting back on training ground, and you're looking forward to getting back on pitch. And Brentford's a tough test. You know, they should have gone up last season, in my opinion. That the bottle didn't end, but. It'll be a tough game. Ivan Tony is a good player at this level. You know, they've still got some very good players in the team. Um, but, you know, let's just celebrate win tonight. Great performance from lads. Yep. All right, Luke, I'll let you go on, mate. Uh-